Over the past year, I've been using an Imolent MS12 Mini. It's listed at 65,000 lumens, which, when you see it in real life, is ridiculously bright. And, when you consider it's coming out of a small handheld torch, it almost seems like it simply shouldn't be possible for that level of light to come from such a handy little item. So, after 12 months of genuine day-to-day -day usage, what are my thoughts on it? In a word, fantastic. In a few more words, carry on watching. So I would say that an item like this is a pretty unusual and niche item. It's something that is an everyday item in one respect, a torch. We've all got torches and used them and seen them for all of our lives, but it can do that job at a level way beyond the average day-to-day -day user's needs, including mine. But like many other comments that I've had on my videos where I'm using this torch, people have said things such as, I have no need to own this, but I really want one. And so I basically had that similar feeling and eventually bit the bullet just after Christmas last year and thought, let's go for it. And my goodness me, I'm so glad that I did because I found that even though I didn't need something that was quite so ridiculously bright at its top level, I've come up with a lot of uses for it. In fact, right now, even lighting the room where I'm stood in front of my green screen, I have got the torch on its uh, second lowest mode, as well as my studio lights, to help more evenly light the room and light myself and the green screen. Although, I think I've got the studio lights a bit too bright here, so I'm looking a bit washed out. But that's the sort of thing I want to make clear here, that even though I bought this as a, a novelty item and as a treat for myself, because I don't really have anything else. I, I don't even own a games console at this moment. Oh man, I've grown up. Anyway, back on track. So what I'm trying to say is that even though I didn't have a specific reason to need that level of brightness, I found over the months that having such a high quality torch, especially with such a nice even lighting beam, that there's a lot of random uses such as using it here in the studio that have popped up to me. And of course, being such a big fan of making videos and taking photos, having something that's got such a good quality of light and such a top level of brightness has led to all sorts of fantastic shots and situations that I'm able to record and take photos outdoors that simply wouldn't exist without it. But beyond that, just using it as a torch when I'm out and about walking around is great. Because of that even beam and that wide, wide floodlighting ability, I can literally hold that in my hand on one of the lowest two or three brightnesses and not only have a good distance ahead of me lit up, but because of that wide, wide beam, I'm able to also see the ground right in front of me very well lit, as well as something that's, say, 200 metres away down the path. So that's another thing that I love about it. And I've got another, not anything remotely similar to this level of brightness, but another good torch, uh, an old Lucasang torch that I bought off Amazon. Just a completely random brand that I purchased. And I find that even though that's got a really good brightness to it and a, a, the ability to focus the beam in and shine it brighter, further away and so on, like a spotlight, it's a far more enclosed uh, circle. Like the lens and the beam is far more perfectly defined as a circle and anything outside of that circle is nowhere near as well lit as what's within that circle. So even though that's a good torch, I can walk around with that and enjoy it. It's nothing like using something like the Imolent MS12 Mini where, as I say, I'm lighting the distance, I'm lighting the ground right in front of me and I'm not having to move my hand or anything at all. So I really love it as just purely a torch and a handy torch to have. Now, what I would say is that the one big downside to something of this level of brightness is if you do use it on those higher brightnesses, obviously your battery life is going to be significantly lowered. So the full turbo mode at 65,000 lumens is listed as lasting for 45 seconds on that uh, power and then dropping down to something like I don't know if it drops all the way to 13,000 lumens or something like that for 40 minutes if you used it continually in that way. The reality is, however, that you're unlikely to use it in that way. And this brings us to another drawback, and that's the heat. So depending on the situation you're in and the ambient temperature, I have found that if you're running this torch on its absolute full turbo mode 
as you can probably imagine, the heat that it generates is absolutely incredible. During the winter months, when I first bought it, I thought, wow, that is a very warm torch, goodness me. And it was getting too hot for me to press and hold the button to kick in the fans, even when the torch itself was off. And I thought, well, that's definitely very warm. But then when I took it out on in warmer climates and warmer environments, then I really realised, oh, this is very warm. And it kept the heat in it quite a long time in the warmer times of year because obviously there wasn't that cold air blowing around it to help bring that temperature down to something a bit more reasonable. However, like I say, the way that you're using the torch and using turbo mode, or at least the way that I do, it's not something that is a consistent, constant issue. It's something that you just stumble across every now and then if you're trying to do a bit of filming or take a certain shot or what have you and you keep messing up and then needing to put it back into turbo mode. Now, the opposite of that, it's also got a really good moonlight mode, which is listed as being only 50 lumens. And it's something like 98 hours of battery life it claims it has from that, which I can imagine is probably near to the truth. I certainly know from my own experience that even though I go out on night walks quite often and they're maybe between an hour and two hours as an average or if I'm going out deliberately to film in the evenings then I might be out for up to three hours say and if I'm only using the moonlight mode and the lowest brightness of the main torch then I find I've not had a single issue with the battery running out while well, I've been out using it for a couple of hours and that's something that obviously is incredibly handy because it means that I'm not either running down the light on the studio lights or on the phone that I'm recording on or my head torch, which obviously the head torch is a totally different kettle of fish because I like to have that with some power in it because it's a way to illuminate my environment while having both of my hands free just for emergencies, I suppose. The versatility of this torch from a really long lasting moonlight mode that can go on for the best part of a hundred hours to a 45 second ridiculously bright blasting light mode. It's, it, I'm really glad that I own this. I use it all the time, even a year later. The only real drawback I would say, the, the biggest single problem, it's that charging port on the back. If there was a simpler port like a modern USB-C where I could literally just plug it into a, a simple USB power pack that's in my backpack, then that would make this the perfect torch. Is it expensive? Yes. Have I got my money's worth? I'd say I probably have, but only because I can't sit still, so I'm always going off outside on these miniature adventures. Um, so maybe not everybody would feel that it was a, a worthy purchase without having a specific reason to own something like this. However, I think a lot of people definitely would enjoy taking one out for a spin and shining it on aqueducts and things like that, like I have done in the past. Now, the dog is just about to open the blind and knock the torch over, so I need to wrap this up quickly. So my friends, I've got to speak a little bit quieter as I've had to move my microphone out of the dog's way. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've left an Amazon associate link to this torch in the description below. This isn't a sponsored video, but if you do buy through those links, I might get a little commission, so have a look. <laughs> um, please check the other links. Feel free to check my other videos for loads more of playing out at night with torches. Feel free to add me on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. And you'll find me posting loads of pictures and clips from the great outdoors. Till the next time, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it looming worthy, have a fantastic day, and of course, farewell.